It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And coming up, we'll see Stefan Diggs. It was a nice line for him a week ago, reaching a century mark and scoring a touchdown. It's the Bills and the Commanders just ahead on EA Sports. We are technically five miles east of Washington, D.C., and that's where you find this place, FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Today it's week three, and we've got a good one in store, as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the Washington Commanders. Alongside... The Commanders' offense ready to get things started coming off their first win of the season a week ago. And the one we'll be watching is this man at wideout. He's off and running here early in the season. Two good outings for him catching the football. And that's a surprise to absolutely nobody because defensively, you know you've got to try and limit his touches, keep the ball out of his hands. But right now, he's playing with some confidence. And I just know his offense coordinator is dialing up a few plays just for him. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Curtis Samuel, the one he was looking for. And now it's second down. You look at this Buffalo defense. They're going to need to be strong against the run in this one. Now if they could just get their pass defense in line, this unit would be really, really strong. And remember the conversation with the defensive coordinator? He wants them to rush the passer better. He wants to see the quarterback on the ground. They've got to create some sacks. And he said it starts early and often. We'll see if they can get to him. And that is incomplete. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion, guys a little bit I don't, jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. It's just like <laughs> us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and they out. have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> Second down and a run by Robinson. There's a nice move. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. A gain of 14, first down, Commanders. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. They go play action with Brissett. His throw complete right side to Bates, the tight end. And that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection, maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you wonder, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Brissad. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Yeah, it's been a good start to the season for him. He's still kind of getting used to a new terminology, new playbook, new quarterback, you name it. But he's certainly been solid in this first month, and he's got a first down. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from our nation's capital, and it's Washington in possession of the football. So first and ten now in Buffalo territory at the 38. Brissett throw complete there to Thomas. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. Yeah. 
That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Here's Brissett. Checks this one down to Robinson. And we get a stoppage because, as you can see, a member of the commanders in some obvious discomfort. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine. And they need ten yards out of it on third. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 13-yard line. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. From the red zone now, Brissett. That's into the hands of Edwards. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll bring up second down. Again, it's Brissett. Touchdown, Washington. John Bates. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Commanders are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. Back onto the field now, the commander's offense. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. Now Brissett. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Pick made by Terrell Bernard. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. And that's a ball that he is going to want to keep his first career interception in the National. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Short throw to the tight end, Thomas. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and it'll be second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Out of the gun, Brissant. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Edwards. And he's going to be brought down right there. So nothing after the catch as he's dropped at the 42. A first down throw for Brissett. That's out wide here for Robinson. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. And in the air once more. It's Brissett. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Here's Brissett. And that'll be incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. Already up two touchdowns. How about that drive kill? The commander's up first on offense as we begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time, 
The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. Miles Jack there to make the tackle. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. It's caught inside the 25. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Big yardage that time for Washington. 43 yards. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. And it's caught. Touchdown. Logan Thomas, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Commanders are back within a score. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard and you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. So out comes Washington's offense to take over. Here's Gibson to start the drive. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Brissett. And he is caught. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Going old reliable there to the slot on third down. And the slot position has become the bane of just about every defense's existence because how do you cover? Do you go with a bigger guy to try and use size? Can't go with a, try to go with a quicker guy and sometimes you even get out quick there? Very difficult to match up with that slot receiver. That's why they keep going back to him. And he's had the hot hand. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third. Is worth back now at FedEx Field. It's the commanders in possession of the football, but they trail as we start this fourth quarter. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. This offense so far on third down, they've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and ten. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last. Now here we go on the next drive for Washington. set on first down over the middle and there's a diving catch it's a gain of 13 for number 13 and it gives him a first down well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters and this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth but a nice first down and a pickup on that throw yeah and this is where as coaches you're looking for effort and execution even though the scoreboard is going against you you want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. Now a second and ten. To throw is Brissett. Short throw there, caught by Thomas. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. 
Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Commander's football as we get back to it. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. They'll throw again. Brissett. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have a Commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first and ten, it's Gibson. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. From the gun, here's Brissad. Short throw to the tight end, Thomas. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. And now they're in the hurry up. Off the play fake, here's Brissad. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. And looking for McLaurin, but this is intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And the Bills are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time... So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And we talked so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show the film, they have to be careful not to give out too many kudos and kill their motivation going forward.